Today in the news, we discuss Intel's Alchemist arrival and the disappointing AMD GPU. What's up guys, I'm Snows, and this is your boot sequence. Before that, let me give a quick shout out to today's video sponsor, WhoKeys. WhoKeys is where you can buy keys like this one for Windows 10 Pro. Get yourself a license with that link down in the description and click buy now and enter the code BTS25 for 25% off. And then you just submit your order. And once you're through with your payment and you receive your key, go to your computer, click on the Windows button, type in activate and update or change your product key. It's that simple. Let's get started with Intel. Specifically, let's talk ARC GPUs. Now, a couple of days ago, Intel did a little uh, sneakeroo move to the information available on their Alchemist GPUs. They talked a very big talk last year when it came to technologies available, uh, how hard they were working on it, etc., etc. They even gave us a release window, or did they? I distinctly remember seeing a release window of Q1 2022 here, and it's not on their marketing page, it's not in videos, it's not here, not here. Oh, wait, hold on, I found it. We can't wait to get these products into your hands. You should expect Alchemist-based products in Q1 2022. So yeah, it looks like Intel is quietly removing marketing material that shows Q1 as its release date. But that's no surprise. We've been hearing about delays for ARC pretty much all week and last week, and most of what we heard pointed at a Q2 release. And the release schedule was actually even worse. Apparently the first GPUs to show their faces would likely be laptop GPUs early on in April, according to a Moore's Law is Dead source, with higher end desktop models coming late in Q2, so around June. But now it looks like things are getting even worse. Another YouTuber slash leaker that I have confidence in, Paul from Red Gaming Tech, has received some extra information from his source. First, I didn't know that, but Alchemist was actually supposed to debut TSMC's 6 nanometer process, like it would be TSMC's, you know, flagship thing. But turns out, AMD did that, pushing out their 6500 XT. That means Intel was looking for a super early 2022 release, but they missed the mark. Then he received word that Alchemist might not even make it for Q2. His source still points at a laptop GPU coming earlier than Q3, but that Q3 slash Q4 is where we'll finally see the blue team's actual discrete cards. I'm talking about what we're used to seeing. The delay is supposedly caused by hardware and software issues, and his sources point to it being 80% hardware and 20% software. Now, if Intel does launch in Q3, God forbid in Q4, I think they might be in serious trouble. As far as we know, Q3 is going to be mayhem in terms of product launches. Ryzen 7000 CPUs based on the Zen 4 architectures are going to be released. There were uh, rumors that Intel's Raptor Lake is also going to be landing during that time frame, but more importantly, Nvidia's Lovelace GPUs are coming in Q3, specifically in September, according to Twitter leaker Graymon55. And RDNA 3 GPUs are supposed to come out on the second half of 2022. So if Intel can't deliver their GPUs before the other companies, they'll essentially be pushed out of the segment by Nvidia and AMD's stock. And these new GPUs will reach market with a brand new architecture and performance beyond the generation that Intel was targeting. Now, I know what you might say, but you can't buy GPUs anyways, so adding another competitor will help. To which I say, sort of? I mean, stock depends on where you live and all, but these days, I can readily find 6700 XTs in my area, and these are pretty high-end GPUs, scoring just under the RTX 3070. I even see a 3060 in stock here. The main problem is pricing, and I sure hope that when Intel delivers, we'll see these go back down to more reasonable levels. Something else that could really benefit Intel is also their pricing. We've heard some rumors, but it's very vague right now, that the pricing for Intel GPUs will be much lower than Nvidia and AMD. The only thing is, you know, it's all about price to performance, so we have to wait and see for that. What do you guys think? Could Intel be in trouble for delaying their GPUs this much? Let me know what you think down below.
Moving on, let's move away from leaks and talk about an objectively bad GPU, the RDNA 2 based Eclipse GPU inside of the Exynos 2200. That's the smartphone chip from Samsung in case you didn't know. So last week with the information at hand, we estimated that the new Exynos chip, the 2200, was about 17% faster than its predecessor, the 2100. And while that's all fine and dandy, the competition didn't sleep, with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 boasting about a 30% increase in GPU performance compared to its predecessor, the Snapdragon 888. But what about the Snap 8 Gen 1 versus the Exynos 2200? That's the two top flagships. Well, predictions were about a 13% difference in favor for the Snapdragon. But unfortunately, the current numbers are closer to 30 to 40% faster in favor of the Snapdragon Adreno 730 chip. Yikes. But hey, there was a saying in the industry that AMD products age like fine wine, so let's just hope that that's what's gonna happen for this uh, RDNA 2 chip. And lastly, we got our free game check. Starting Thursday the 17th, that's tomorrow or today, depending on when you're watching this, or it could be a couple of days from now. Anyways, you can get Brothers, A Tale of Two Sons for free on the Epic Store. Now, I bought this game myself a couple of years ago, and let me tell you, it's good. The story is amazing. The only issue I had with it was that it was pretty short of a game at around three to four hours for completion, but I still loved it. You should give it a try if you've got an afternoon to spare. The controls take time to get used to since you're basically controlling two characters with one controller, but you won't regret it. Anyways, guys, that is pretty much it for today's video. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Drop a like if you liked it, a comment. If you want to talk about today's stories, as usual, right here to see the, uh, another video, and right here to uh, subscribe to the channel. Stay frosty, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care. I know we come from the stars. Mama told me that the love that you give always comes back. That if you had the love, you can do it, but you didn't know that. Oh, I can see the shadows. Through